welcome in to To Your Health. We've got, this is just going to be a great time because you know what, all it the is. things that we're talking about are good. And we are so blessed to have with us today Paula Brennan, who is at Baptist East. And she, you really, what exactly do you do other than everything? <laughs> what exactly do you do? I mean, you, you, <laughs> what's your job description? My job description, I'm the Director of Women's and Children's Services, and so it's everything good. Uh, it's labor and delivery, the nurseries, uh, postpartum, so all of the really wonderful, Pediatrics. marvelous things. Mm -hmm. Pediatrics. Women's and yeah. children. Real and I kid and her, I said, I don't mm -hmm. know how she finds blouses to wear because she's got nubs on her back where the wings are. <laughs> it's just amazing. What an angel. And our favorite CEO, we have Jeff Rains here from Baptist East, and we are so blessed to have both of you. Thank you. And we want to talk about two things today. First of all, I would like to start with the Women's Choice Award because I'm so proud that we have this in our community. And Jeff, could you tell us about that? I, I, I will. We. Uh uh, you know, Labor and Delivery, Women's Services, uh, Pediatrics, NICU has been a, a very important uh, part of uh, Baptist Health and Baptist East for uh, many, many years. Um, a, a, a key service line for us uh, and really kind of going back a little bit um, after the completion of our new postpartum uh, unit that opened at the end of January of this year. Uh, we recently were uh, nominated by um, the Women's uh, Choice Award for uh, one of America's best hospitals for obstetrics. Uh, so I think the, the, the timing of that and, and, mm -hmm. uh, and the culmination of, of the hard work uh, really just, I, I think that was a good uh, uh, icing on the cake for us. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we're certainly, certainly glad to accept that award. Is the Women's Choice Award, is that a national organization? To recognized you? It, it is. It's a, it, it's a national organization uh, and there are a, a number of other uh, types of awards. Uh, ours was specifically for obstetrics um, and it really focuses on um, uh, women's choice, women's perception, um, uh, not only for patient satisfaction but for uh, clinical outcomes, patient safety, uh, high quality indicators, mm -hmm. uh, so it's really a combination of, of a lot of those things that, that came into our um, uh, being nominated as, uh, as one of the top hospitals for obstetrics. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty amazing yes, and yes. a lot to be proud yes, of. And I know that, like for our audience, you have a lot of you are, are older, but you know what? You've got children and those children are going to have your grandchildren. Right. So That's when you get into right. having those grandbabies, mm -hmm. you want them to have the best. Right. Yes. Right. And uh, what, what motivated you to add on the postpartum section? We really listen to our patients. You know, um, coming in, we've got very large um, state-of-the-art labor rooms, LDRs, and so the disconnect was they labor delivered there, and then they were transferred to postpartum, and those rooms had been in existence for some time and they were smaller. Uh, and so they couldn't understand how we had these large spacious rooms. Uh, and then we were moving them to a much smaller room when they had family and ch other children. So listening to our patients and understanding we had to do something about that. And then just our volume, you mm -hmm. know, really um, caused us to look at that. I have another question I would particularly <coughs> like to ask you because out in the community, Jack and I, get feedback on probably on every topic there is of yes. some kind <laughs> yeah. and we get a lot of feedback from people about uh, the Baptist system and, and in particular Baptist East. If you had to name two things that you think make our labor and delivery obstetrics the, the, the women's choice, what, what are the two things that are most important that you see that enabled us to really get that? Um, it's our culture. Uh, our hospital really believes in sacred work mm -hmm. and their commitment to uh, patient and family center care. Mm -hmm. They want it to be the best experience that it can be in a safe environment. Um, so those would be the two things. Yeah. That's exactly That's what we, we have <coughs> talked about with Jeff so many times. Mm -hmm. CC, competence and compassion. Right. Yes. And the servant's heart. Right. And it's because we are so vulnerable, Jack, when you you're know, in the hospital. You know, Virginia and I are a little bit wow. older than you young kids here. So <laughs> but, uh, you know, we remember that when, when, you know, when I was having children, that normally a hospital stay after a birth could be as much as four or five days. That's true. So between the birth and the postpartum, what would be a normal length of stay now? 
for a normal vaginal delivery, it's 48 hours. 48 hours, right. okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's certainly changed. It's a different experience mm -hmm. now. Um, I, I want to take an opportunity to go back to Virginia's question. You know, it, it really is about it's about the people that, mm -hmm. that provide the service it every day, is. and, and it, it always mm -hmm. is. Yes. You know, you, you look at uh, whether it's a Women's Choice Award or, or really any other. It's not about the buildings. It's not about no. the, the you know the, the technology. It's not about uh, uh, you know the space, even though that is comfortable and it goes into the patient experience. You can have the the best uh, uh, facility. In the in the world, but if you don't have the people who live up to the mission, mm -hmm. uh, you won't be successful. And, and that's that's not just nurses uh, at the bedside. It's uh, it, it starts with physicians, it's nurses, it's our techs, it's our environmental services staff, our dietary staff, lab. I mean, it is a, it is it is top to bottom. Uh, everyone who's committed to that. I can vouch for every single layer mm -hmm. from you. It starts at the top. And my son was born at Baptist, and I still mm -hmm. run into some of those nurses. All right. three of mine were. Those nurses still yeah. put their arms around me and call me baby. That's and right. I'll tell you, right. you can't buy that. That's yep. Right. And right. thank you both you, so much. You can't put a smile on a machine. That's yeah. right. That is true. Thank that you true. so much for coming in, and thank you for letting us let, let our community know the good things that are happening. And we'll be right back.